What is up guys, it's boy Gonzo aka the homeless looking headass with a dirty hat and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make Drake type drums. They're really simple and you can do them in under this many minutes. Let's just jump into it. First of all, I'm gonna show you which drums I chose. Uh, it's usually those really generic trap drums for the most part. So you got the normal kick, it got a little bit high end, the classic plug 808. It's really subtle because I... Uh, actually EQ'd it so it normally sounds like this but I wanted to get rid of those high frequencies then the classic uh, Canadian producer type hi-hats I guess and then the classic trap clap trap clap say that five times and then uh, an actual snare for the classic trap snare pattern which is you know, I'm gonna be making this on 145 BPM just because I want it to be a bit faster. So uh, yeah, let's just start with the claps because these are the easiest things to do and just change the velocity so you make sure you get everything out of them. So really simple. And then we're gonna add the snares which have the classic pattern which is really simple the original snare was quite loud so i had to turn it down like six decibels and i also wanted to eq the low end because i just felt like it wasn't you know fitting so yeah now that we got the clap and the snare going it's time to do the hi-hats you could already just right click on them and you know fill each two steps because they're basically done so i'm gonna go into piano roll i'm gonna raise the velocity a bit i'm gonna add a note at the fifth bar press ctrl l and then get rid of the note that we've added so i can actually make rolls we can already start by doing something with the second hat so or we could make them sound like they're kind of off bit but they're really not by uh, clicking on the magnet thingy and then changing it to one half step so we can add one right here it creates a really nice bounciness honestly so you know so I'm just gonna add a few extra hi-hats just to create a nice uh, rhythm going on. Okay, so after tweaking the hi-hats a little bit, this is how they sound like. I just added some rhythm to it, some bounciness, and that's about it. And now comes probably the second easiest thing, which is the kicks. Now, you could follow the classic, you know... trap pattern which is but we're gonna add some extra kicks just so it makes it sound more unique I guess and more bouncy so maybe something like this it's already sounding like five times better by just adding two extra kicks and now I'm gonna add a set of extra kicks right at the end before the last snare so from this I'm gonna add two extra kicks, I'm gonna select the first one holding down control, alt U, and then I'm gonna make it like this, so it splits it in two. You could always do it by just, you know, changing the magnet thingy to like half step, so, you know. You don't always have to do this, I would suggest you do it maybe if you clone the kicks, you know, make the pattern twice as long, and then getting rid of the first part, so and then have it at the end but it's really up to you I'm probably gonna do this just for variation sake and uh, I'm just gonna clone the hi-hats as well because you don't really need much variation they're not like the main focus of the beat or anything same goes for the clap and now another easy part would be just to copy the kicks and then paste them over the 808 also make sure you click on the 808 go on the second menu which is the envelope menu and just make it look like this so now you have full control over the note, the length and everything. And also you can right click on it and cut itself. So now we're going to click on the 808s. We're going to add another note at the end. Control L and then getting rid of the last note. So now it's going to sound like this. I would suggest you to make a uh, melody out of the 808 by just following the actual main melody because otherwise it's gonna be the same note and it's gonna get boring and also this is another reason why I added the EQ just to get rid of the high frequencies just to make it more uh, subtle I guess but still bassy enough maybe something like this 
so that way the high frequencies won't interfere with the actual melody and it wouldn't be as noticeable that it's on one note you could always you know as i said following the melody you could do something like this i don't know it's really up to what type of melody you have going on, what notes, what key, what scale, so on and so forth. But in essence, this is pretty much it. It's a really simple drum pattern. And I mean, it's simple because it's not the main focus of the track. But then again, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, always have a simple drum pattern. Of course, he doesn't always have the same type of drums in the background, but like this is just a starting point, I suppose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys managed to learn something from this be it simple it's still you know something to learn i guess but yeah if you guys want to support me you can cop my drum kit you still have one day left to get everything at 50 percent off but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>